Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to chat you through some of the products I'm using on a daily basis and I'm also going to try out a different hairstyle than I usually do at the moment. <laughs> a lot of you have been asking for me to curl my hair um, so I'm going to try curling my short hair again. I've done it a few times um, but it's quite slippery today so I don't know if it's going to work out very well but We'll see. I've got some good styling products I can use. So anyway, let's get on with the video. I'm going to start out with skincare products. I'm only going to show you two because I keep my skincare routine very minimal. And I've already washed my face with some micellar water. And that is about it. I don't use a cleanser at the moment because it's in the more wintry months. I don't tend to clean my face quite as vigorously as I would in summer. So the first product I use in my skincare routine after I've washed my face is the Avene uh, Soothing Skin Recovery Balm. I am absolutely obsessed with this. I've tried this before and I'm pretty sure they've recently updated their packaging so that it has a pump, which is amazing. And it's such a good pump as well, <laughs> which sounds weird, but it, it just, is a good pump and so I do two pumps of that. I used to have to squish the bottle and sort of juggle lids and things but now it's so much easier. So I just take two pumps of that and I just massage it onto my face. It feels really weird doing this in front of the camera. <laughs> I usually just whack it on in the morning. And so after that I've been adding the Charlotte Tilbury Invisible UV Flawless Primer which has SPF 50 in it. I only use a tiny amount really um, because if I, I find if I use any more then you kind of run out of space to blend it in if that makes sense like you just have too much product and this just makes your foundation sit really nicely and gives you that SPF protection that you should be using every day even in winter. And then I like to go in with the Glossier Balm.com and just add a nice amount of that to my lips. I go through phases with lip balms, but this one has just always been a safe bet for me. I have Flory on the bed next to me today. He's listening out for the cats. Hey, Fluffles. Fluffles. Hello. Aren't you cute? You having a snooze? <laughs> So I've still been loving the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade 0.5N. And I like to just put one pump on my sponge and then just blend it all over my face. I usually love using brushes for my foundation, but I find in the winter, because my skin is so sensitive, the brushes sort of just aggravate my skin a little bit. So that's the foundation on. I'm then gonna use my Rose Ink Concealer in the shade LX10 and I've really been loving this. I've definitely found you only need a tiny bit of it. A little goes a very long way. And then again, blending it out with the sponge. I like to do under the eye and then use any excess on my eyelids because I have very thin skin on my eyelids so my veins show through quite a bit. I have then been using a little bit of the Bare Minerals Original Veil Pressed Powder just underneath my eyes and slightly taking down any of the super shiny parts. I've been trying out this iconic contour powder recently and I really like it. So it comes with two different shades. It comes with a lighter shade and a slightly darker one underneath. So I've been using the lighter shade first just to sort of give a rough contour and it's very subtle. And then I like to add a bit of the darker shade just to deepen up contour a little bit. I've still been loving my Rose Ink Blush. It's just such a perfect shade and I really like the brush that you can get that goes with the blush. It just puts the right amount on and in the right sort of shape so you don't have to do too much shaping with the blush. And it's super quick. I'm going to add some of the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wand Highlight. This stuff is just amazing. <laughs> Try not to move it around too much on the skin because I can find it can like disturb the blush and look a bit odd sometimes if you're putting a liquid highlighter on top of a liquid blush. So there we go, now my skin looks super glowy and healthy. I'm going to use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade 3. 
and I've been switching up my brow, the way I draw my brows on recently. I've been starting from the outside and working in and almost doing it in reverse and I find that it actually works quite well. And then I'll use a spoolie to just brush it down and blend it all in. And then I'm gonna set them into place with the Refi Brow Sculpt. And yes, I am still completely obsessed with this product. <laughs> It's just so good. They stay exactly where you put them all day. And then I will go in with the brush it comes with. And I like to use the comb bit at the moment. I started out really liking the brush bit, but now I prefer the comb because it just sort of separates them perfectly. And then I usually go in with a flat foundation brush on top of them just to sort out anything that's been disturbed above my eyebrows. I'm going to leave my eyes bare for now and I'm going to go on to lips and I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk and I'm just going to line all the way around my lips. And then I'm going to use the Pillow Talk lipstick and just add a little bit of that. And I actually really like the way it looks without having anything on my eyes and having a little bit of a bold lip and just sort of glowy skin. So that is usually my go-to makeup. Moving on to hair, I'm gonna try and do some waves with my GHG cordless styler. So that's just heated up and I'm gonna add some of the Authentic Beauty Concept Flawless Primer, just to give my hair a bit of grip and also just to protect my hair slightly. So I'm gonna try and do this sort of crimped wave. A bit easier with this tool because it's so thin. With my short hair I can get more waves in. I'm not sure how much charge this heat styler has though so I'm gonna have to work quickly. I haven't charged it up in a while and I haven't used it in a while so I don't expect it's gonna last very long. I do find that doing this sort of wave always gives my hand cramp. <laughs> I don't know why, I think it's all sort of twisting and... No, it's run out of charge. <laughs> I can try and finish it. So I just about managed to finish that. I think it's... I quite like the way that looks. I'm gonna add some texture with some texture spray and this one is from the Authentic Beauty Concept. Also going to use some of their nude powder spray just sort of slightly under the roots at the back and around the sides just to give that little bit of lift and sort of fuzziness around the top of my hair because that's what this sort of look suits quite well I think when it's sort of slightly wavy and textured and then I'm going to add some of this stronghold hairspray onto my hand rub them together and then scrunch that in and that will just give the hold I need but without sort of caking down my hair. So there we go, that's the finished hair look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Also let me know if there's any other hair videos you want to see, different hairstyles with my short hair. I'm still trying to perfect the updos, <laughs> they're very tricky. I will list all of the products I've used down below and yeah, I really hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.